Hey guys, it's Amanda Panda, and today is Fan yeah. Custom yeah. Friday, yeah. where I pick one of my fans' custom OC ponies, and I make it in real life on my channel. And this month's winner is Bellarina. Bellarina was submitted to me by R. Thomas, and Bellarina is a ballet pony. So let's get started making this custom. I'm gonna be using Pinkie Pie as the base for Bellarina. Starting off with a little bit of acetone, I'm removing her cutie mark and I'm also gonna be removing her eyelashes because they're black and sometimes they're really hard to cover with a light colored paint. So next I am going to be removing her head. I like to grab it and firmly twist it to the side until it pops right out of the neck plug just like that. Now I'm gonna start removing the hair. First, I need to remove the neck plug. Now this particular one is being really good and it is coming out by just tugging on it with my pliers, but if your pony has too much glue around the neck plug, you might have to cut it out. To make the process of removing the hair easier, I suggest cutting it first. So I'm taking a pair of large scissors and cutting off the bulk of Pinkie Pie's hair. Then I'm gonna go in with my teeny tiny little nail scissors and cut the hair as close to the scalp as I possibly can. And now I'm gonna reach inside the head with my pliers. And if you don't have any, you could always use tweezers. And I'm gonna pull out all those chunks of hair and glue and you can see that this head is completely bald now i need to remove the tail so i need to remove this neck plug but first i'm just going to snip off as much hair as i can with my scissors and then grab my exacto knife and i'm going to make a series of small cuts all the way around the neck plug until i can just pull it right out just like this and then i'm going to reach in there and pull out the rest of the tail and the little metal washer that is inside of this particular pony. So let's get started with the customization. The Bellarina is a really pretty shade of blue purple periwinkle and I didn't have it in acrylic paint or nail polish so what I did is I mixed a lavender nail polish and a blue one to create the perfect shade for Bella Rena. So I am just going to start painting and give the head and the body each two coats of this custom paint color. And that is really going on nicely. And as always, I am not coloring in the eyes. I like to save them because it helps me with the placement of the eyes later on. And when I paint the body, I do like to put a paintbrush through the tail hole because it makes it really easy to paint the entire body at the same time without touching it. So now that the base layer is completely dried, I'm going to start working on Bella Rena's eyes. So I have switched over to acrylic paint and I'm using white to redefine the shape of Bellarina's eyes. And then I'm going to go in with a bright blue and just put in her eye color. And I'm going to go in with two coats of this blue to make sure I get good coverage. And now I am going to go in with some black and put in the center of her eyes. And I'm actually going to add a little more white to the corners there. Go in with my dotting tool and give Bellarina two light spots in each eye and off camera I'm gonna outline the eye with black and also give her her top eyelid and I have to do that off camera because it is so hard doing those little tiny lines on camera so I'm just filling in the top lid with some pink eyeshadow just like Bellarina's and these are some really really cute eyes they look like she is just in love I've also added some eyelashes 
done the other eye and the head is completely done. So I'm gonna go in and give the head a layer of clear nail polish to seal all of my work in. And once that clear top coat has completely dried, it's time for hair. I have selected the color Tea Rose from dollyhair.com. It is this really pretty ballerina pink that matches the drawing. I have cut the hair into sections that are one quarter the original length and I am catching it at the end of my rerouting tool that I got from dollyhair.com and it is a pronged needle and it's very very sharp so all you got to do is decide what hole you want that hair plug to go into push down and just like that that hair plug is in it catches itself on the inside as you saw and you're just going to repeat this process over and over again until the pony has a full head of hair Once you have all of the hair plugs in, you need to secure them or they can fall out when you play with the pony. I personally like to use no sew glue. I pour it directly inside of the pony's head and then use a Q-tip to evenly distribute that glue. And with this, the head is completely done. I'm gonna put it to the side, let the glue dry and finish up the body. The base color is all dried. It is time for the cutie mark. So Bellerina has two bells for the cutie mark. What I'm gonna do is be using a nail stamp. So you take your little stamping plate, add a little bit of nail polish, scrape off the excess, and then pick up the design with the stamper. So you can see that adorable little bell design there. And since my stamper is clear, I can see exactly where I wanna put it. And I'm gonna put it down right on the flank right there. That is so pretty. And I'm gonna repeat that and give her the second bell. Now this bell is actually a Christmas bell. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit of that purple base coat and cover up the little leaves of Holly. Now I'm going in with that same yellow nail polish putting the little log at the top and the strings that connect the bells. And that is it for Bellerina's cutie mark. I'm gonna go over the entire body with a layer of clear coat to seal all of my work in. And once that clear coat has dried, it is time for Bellerina's tail. I have a little bit of that same color tea rose that I used for the mane. I have twist tied it together. I'm pulling it through the tail hole about halfway up. Then I'm gonna remove that twist tie and replace it with a zip tie. So get that twist tie off and put in the zip tie. And you wanna make sure that this zip tie is as tight as it possibly can so none of that hair gets loose. So there it is, nice and tight. I'm just gonna trim off the excess at the top here and then pull that tail through. And just like that, Bellerina got her new tail and I am loving this color combination. I've attached both pieces of the neck plug back together. They are right here and I'm going to reattach this to the body using a little bit of Gorilla Glue. So I have already put it around the inside of the neck and I'm just gonna push that neck plug in and let that dry. While it's drying, I'm gonna start working on Bellerina's cute ballet slippers. To do the actual shoe, I'm gonna be using Sugru. It does come in pink, but it's this really bright pink. So I've mixed up the white and pink to create this soft ballet pink color. I have a piece that I have kind of just put into the shape of a little line. I am going to wrap it all the way around the edge of the hoof here. 
smooth that out and repeat the process on the other three. So there are the ballerina shoes. Now I need to add the little lace ups for the ballerina shoes. And I'm gonna do that with some ribbon. This is very, very thin pink ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby. I've cut it into small little pieces and this sugru is still wet so you actually have to do this really fast before the sugru sets. I am just taking a little tool scraping away a small section of the sugru there to create a little pocket. I don't know if you can see that but you see I create a little pocket there and I'm gonna insert that piece of ribbon into the pocket and then smush the sugru back on top to secure it. And when the sugru dries, it should secure the ribbon as well. And I'm gonna repeat that on the inside and outside of every single hoof. I'm going to lace up each shoe, tie a tiny little bow at the top, and the custom is all completed. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the neck plug and reattach the head. Bellerina is all done. Let's check out the completed OC pony. Here she is, and she is adorable. I love the ballerina theme for this custom. She came out so great if you would like to see your pony made in real life stay tuned until the end of the video for all of the giveaway details are thomas i hope that you love ballerina as much as i do thank you so much for watching little pandas until next time bye Want to see your OC Pony made in real life? It could happen. Submit a drawing of your OC Pony along with a short story about him or her directly to me and be sure to include your OC's name. Once a month, I will randomly choose a pony to create in real life on my channel. Anyone can enter no matter where you live and it is completely free. There is no charge to submit your pony and there is no charge to make it if you win. I'll even mail you the finished pony as long as you have a valid mailing address. I ship worldwide and of course shipping is free. Here are the Fan Custom Friday rules. 1. You must be a subscriber to this channel, so submit your YouTube name along with your OC so I can verify. And if you are underage or your parents do not let you have a YouTube channel, no problem. Just let me know when you submit your pony. And two, if you are under 18, please ask your parents' permission before entering the there giveaway. There are three different ways to submit your OC Pony. You can either message me on Facebook or comment on my Facebook page, facebook.com backslash mandapandatoycollector. You can message me on Instagram at mandapandatoycollector or you can mail me your drawing and your story to mandapanda P.O. Box 2855 Humble, Texas 77347. Just a reminder, Fan Custom Friday is intended to encourage your imagination and creativity. So please avoid plagiarizing other people's works from websites such as DeviantArt and Google.